every great civilization, over time, falters and fails because they lost faith with what created that bright light. Every generation of America, in a sense, has to sign this declaration. Every generation has to pledge their lives, their fortune, and their honor. Or we will not be free. Because there are always forces who want to gather that power, who want to control. It is, in fact, the dominant, overwhelmingly dominant system of governance in the history of the world is a few people, elites in society, control the masses. It is the natural order of how things tend to work. And America has stood the test of time. But it is now our moment. It is our moment to stand and pledge. No one's asking you to sacrifice your life. Although I'm sure there are people here who volunteer and step forward to do so for our country. Those who may have men and women in uniform right now doing that. But in this election, I'm not asking for your life. I'm not asking for your fortune, although a piece of it might be nice. <laughs> <laughs> but I am asking for you to pledge your honor. You don't hear that word used very often, the word honor. Sort of fall out of favor. Most people don't even really know what it means anymore. Honor. Pledging your honor. Pledging something beyond yourself. Something important, who you are, what you stand for, what kind of country you want to be in your children. It's your honor. You have an opportunity the next few days, the next few weeks after that, with the caucuses, to put your honor on. What are you going to do to defend not just your own, but your families? We all have ancestors who sacrificed for this country. I do. We all do. Their honor is now on your shoulders. You're part of that legacy of that family. It's now your watch. You're the steward of this great inheritance. And it is now your honor at stake to stand up and fight for these eternal principles that transform humankind. Ladies and gentlemen, if we let down the next generation, we're not just losing America. The world is losing America. Let me tell you that 
she's home from the hospital. We'll thank you all very, very much. responsibilities to send your kids to college. You've got to go out and provide for your family. What are you doing? Well, I thought long and hard about it. I prayed long and hard. So did Karen. And we kept having all of this, what I've shown you through the night. I know this is not a rally speech, but this is not a rally time. This is a time for big things. This isn't a time for happy talk. This is a time to think about what's at stake. And to be inspired not by lofty words, but by inner strength and conviction of doing the right thing for your country. So this is your charge. I'm not going to tell you who both I'm going to tell you that you need to go out and do your duty. It's another word that's not used very often in America. Duty. Honor. Hold up your honor. Your family's on. Your state's on. Your community's on. Or do your duty. Go out in the next few days. And not just vote for the candidate. If you do that, Nice. That's not enough. This is a time for doing your duty. Going out and making a difference in your country. We're not talking about your life. We're talking about rallying your friends and dates. Getting on the phone. Get on a website. Make phone calls. Make a difference. Get energized. Get involved. Talking about a pretty short period of time. And then again in November. But Missouri, as always, is a swing state. And it's a scrap. You're blessed to be in a state that matters, both in the primary and in the general. So you get up, you leave here, and think and pray about what you're of responsibility is to hold up your arms. And I feel very, very good that you will do great things. That you will strike the war for freedom. You will do what's right for your country. Thank you very much, Douglas. <laughs>